So guys, just got to the creek here. Um, looks pretty good. Give you guys a look real quick. Looks a little bit shallow right here. I'm gonna probably find some good looking water down there. Um, yeah, it, it, it looks pretty fishy, so maybe even up in here. So I'm gonna head downstream, walk down this road, find a good spot to cross or go down to the water and maybe cross, find some good looking water and work my way upstream. So stick with me. There's no way that there's not a trout in this spot. I guarantee that there are. Kind of actually already saw one jump out of the water earlier. So there are trout here. But... Oh, that could have been one. Not really sure. Right in there. Come on. Come on. Nah. Not that time. There we go. Right in there. Come on. Come on. It's in the zone. Ah. That dead crayfish right there. This is dead, but so kind of cool that they have them here. Oh, in case you guys were wondering, this is what we're dealing with here. So, I don't know if y'all can see that, but fishing may be done with artificial lures, flies, or streamers, natural bait, bait fish, and fish bait. Spinning or fly fishing gear may be used in these areas, so we are good to go as far as that goes here. So I, since I've been able to, unable to catch any fish, found a worm, I'm going to try it. I know it's not, you know, really fly fishing anymore, but it's perfectly fine with me. I'm just here to catch some fish. First fish of the day for me. It took me a while. It's a big one too. I want to get my hook very well. There we go. Nice chub. I'm gonna get, get him back. Well, guys, since I wasn't having good luck using flies, I kept seeing these little crayfish swimming around. I don't know if you can see that real well. But um, they were all over the place over there, so I just picked one up and put it on a hook. Caught a creek chub on it already. And I used a worm too. But it'd be cool to catch a trout on one of these, that's for sure. So stick with me. Oh! I hope I got that on video. I guess I got a rainbow on. On the freaking. On the baby crayfish. I hope to God that he stays on. It seemed to be solid like 12 inch rainbow. Maybe not as big as I thought, I'm not sure. It's definitely a decent fish. Man, these fish fight. Oh no. Wow, it's a strong one. I'm just gonna pull him into the shallows here. Wow, that's a strong trout. Definitely don't want to lose him. Whoa, taking drag, oh my gosh. Strong trout. Should be coming in here. That's a strong freaking trout. Oh, look at that. It looks like a stocked green bow. That's awesome though. He's the perfect size here, I can eat him, so he's definitely coming home with me to eat. Oh, shot. Got something messed up with his gill here. I don't know, someone let me know in the comments if this is stocked or what the deal is, because the, the fins are real pretty pink color. Both sides of the fin. 
Well, got one more after the GoPro died. Super hype about it. They both fought amazingly, which makes me think that they probably are wild fish. So and I also looked at the meat when I was cleaning them and it's a much like more orange pinky color on both the fish. And I remember before when, uh, when I'd catch the stocked fish, usually it's like more of a, like not very colorful, more like white or clearish um, color. So pretty awesome. Two rainbows. This one's a little bigger. I caught that one after the GoPro died, but it's perfect for me because in this creek, Penn's Creek, I'm in the upper half of the like 11 mile stretch and you can only keep two and they have to be between seven and 12 inches. So both of these fish meet those requirements and I can only keep two and I only caught two, so works out. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe if you haven't.